Hi, it's me again with CorelDRAW Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to start a new series on CorelDRAW 2019, which is the latest version and what is new. So if you don't have it, you might want to, if you have it, you might want to watch, you might pick up some tips. I just got it a few minutes ago and started playing around with it. If you don't have it, you might want to consider upgrading. And the neatest thing I saw, because I've been watching videos on it, is the new object manager. So if you go to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and it comes up with this, it shows you a little graphic or a little pictures. It tells you not only is there a rectangle, is artistic text, aerial artistic text, Andy. Uh, there's a group of 81 objects. So let's click on this. And it's showing me the compass, but it gave me a, a little preview of the compass. Let's zoom in here a little bit. There is a vertical line. There's a horizontal line. It shows you it's a red hairline and it's vertical. It shows you that it's a red hairline or at least a thin line. It doesn't really say it's a, a line, but it's got a curve. It's got the, here's a little picture of the lake, part of the lake. It shows you that little section of the lake and what it would look like. It shows you the bigger section of the lake. It's even the, got the same color as the lake. You know, here's the outside of the clock. You can hit delete and be, you know, gone. Here's the little, like a golf cart or golf course uh, emblem I made. And it shows you right here. There's several of them through there. But it gives you the little, it's a little graphic of what it should look like. Then you can delete it and there it is. And there's another one. Put it back. So it's going to be a lot easier with the object manager. For some reason, they're not calling it an object manager. They're just calling it the object, but it's still in the same place under Docker's object. In previous versions, it's always said object manager. Anyway, so as I familiarize myself with it, I'm going to keep adding videos. So that is CorelDRAW 2019 and what is new. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.